Hey, what is up guys? It's Stan here back with another video. So this is the third and last video on RTX Voice. Um, in the last couple of videos, I showed you guys how to install RTX Voice on GTX GPUs and we did a bunch of testing on that. And then I showed you guys the difference between RTX Voice and crisp noise suppression and something like Discord. So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at how RTX Voice impacts performance in 3D games and GPU intensive applications. So I did a bunch of benchmarks with RTX Voice enabled and disabled. Uh, some benchmarks such as Unigen Heaven, Unigen uh, Superposition, 3D Mark Time Spy, and a couple others, but we'll really focus in on these three benchmarks here. The very first test is Unigen Heaven, and as you can see here, I'm running in extreme preset mode, which is the windowed mode. Uh, that way we can take a look at the stats of the GPU and the other things around on the screen as well. Now, as you can see, the GPU runs at a constant 2025 megahertz, and it, there is no throttling at all. Now, uh, the very first test was with RTX completely disabled, meaning no noise suppression, and the OBS software that's using to capture uh, the screen is not pointed towards RTX voice microphone. Uh, what this also means is, while it's true that I'm using OBS to record the screen, so we're gonna get an impact in frame rate, um, I did this with all of the tests so that the impact to frame rate is gonna be consistent. We're not looking at absolute FPS, we're just looking at the relative performance between RTX on and off. Now, the very first test came back and Heaven with RTX voice completely disabled did 148.9 frames per second average. Now, when I enabled RTX voice in uh, OBS and enabled the noise suppression tick mark with the slider all the way to the maximum, that resulted in an average frame per second of 127.8. FPS. This rep represents about a 14.2% loss in FPS. Now, I did the very same test with superposition. With RTX voice completely disabled, I did about 55.4 FPS. And with RTX on, 47.9 FPS, which represents a 13.6% decrease in frames per second. Now, uh, before I go any further, I want to make a caveat that these are on a R GTX GPU with R uh, RTX Voice Force enabled, meaning going through the hack to enable RTX Voice, changing the, the limitations to be able to install RTX Voice. Uh, with that said, RTX GPUs may not have that impact. I don't have an RTX GPU to test on. Eventually, I'll be able to get my hands on the 3080 Ti, for example, and maybe we'll do some more testing then. But uh, for the time being, this is all I got. Now on the next test with 3D Mark, 3D Mark actually has multiple tests compiled into the benchmark, which is a Time Spy 1 graphics test, a Time Spy 2 graphics test, followed by a CPU test. Now there was actually a uh, complication here where uh, I first did a RTX voice completely disabled test. Then I enabled RTX Voice, but actually forgot to point OBS to use the RTX Voice microphone, so we'll take a look at that. And then I followed up with a full RTX Voice noise suppression test. So as baseline for times by one and two, I did 47.3 FPS and 43.3 FPS, and the CPU pulled 40.3 points. Now, as I said, I enabled RTX voice, checked the tick mark, slid it, slid the slider all the way to 100, but forgot to tell OBS to use RTX voice as a microphone. So that means the application is running in the background, but there isn't actually any noise suppression going on. So this is very interesting because in this scenario, I did 45.7 FPS and 41.5 FPS, which is only a 3.3 in a 4% decrease in performance. So what this means is if you have RTX voice enabled, but not actually actively using it for any noise suppression, you're still getting a three to 4% impact in performance. Now, 
on the last test here, I, I of course told OBS to use RTX voice noise suppression um, and played all that background noise and had it actually, you know, doing all of the calculations to remove uh, the noise. This resulted in 41.2 FPS and 38.1 FPS, which is a 11.9 and a 12.9% decrease. So pretty in line with the other two tests that we talked about. So uh, CPU wise, all three tests were relatively pretty similar. 40.3 points, 39.9 points, and 39.8 points. We're talking about a 1% you know, and 1.2% impact here, very, very small. Uh, as expected, RTX voice isn't really GPU or CPU. Uh, you know, using the CPU is really using the GPU. So, so there you go. CPU isn't impacted all that much. Well, what does this all mean? Well, NVIDIA only released RTX voice on RTX GPUs, and maybe for good reason, because when you enable RTX voice on GTX GPU, um, you know, hacking the installation to installer to make it work, maybe the lack of RTX tensor cores or whatever's going on on the GPU uh, results in a much bigger FPS impact. I don't have a RTX GPU to test on, so I, I can't tell you what the impact it is on an RTX 2080 Ti, for example, but on my 1080 Ti, a you know 12 13 14 percent impact is pretty substantial and you know to put into perspective here if you were pulling about 55 frames per second on a game you know that's pretty good on a 60 frame you know, per second monitor uh and then you drop all of a sudden to 47 fps that's that's pretty substantial that's that's what a third eight fps drop you're going to be able to feel that so should you use rtx voice on a gtx gpu well I'll leave that up to you guys to decide, but do realize that you do get a pretty big hit in performance. Now, even with a 100% utilization on the GPU, the RTX voice performance is actually pretty good. And what I mean by that is when I did a sound test of RTX voice with a completely maxed out GPU, it's still able to pull out the voice compared to the background noise or eliminate the background noise all right, so in this test here, what we have is Heaven running in the background, uh, and we're gonna be enabling RTX voice. And you can hear for yourself, RTX voice is working. Um, this test is to see if a high load on the GPU will impact RTX voice in any way. And, uh, you know, the voice sounds pretty good. And the voice, my voice doesn't seem like it, there's any lag in it, or there's, you know, any stressed, um, you know, noise, sounds, or whatever. So, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is it, RTX voice seems to work. As long as it's enabled, it seems to work, um, but it just makes your GPU work quite a bit harder because, well, uh, it wasn't designed for GTX GPUs. So hopefully that helps you in your gaming decisions and perhaps in your next GPU purchasing decision. I know that I'm keenly looking to forward to the 3080 Ti that's coming out later this year and maybe even the big Navi GPU from AMD. Um, probably going to get my hands on both, to be honest, just for testing purposes. So if this video was any use to you guys, make sure to hit that like button on your way out. And if these tech videos, computer tech videos are your thing, perhaps consider subscribing for future videos. I'll see you guys in the next one.